it's another battle against Penguin X. Woo! I've lost count of how many times I've battled him now. It must be about six or seven. But anyway, here's another with my lead Dodrio, which managed to completely shut down that celery, which is good. But then he brought in a Tyranitar, and I knew that this wouldn't last long, so I had to VP out of there quick because now the sash is broken. So I just bat and pass, and he also takes that and goes for a focus punch, which for some reason I didn't see coming because, well, Penguin X's sets are actually really unpredictable ones, except for the celery. Although, I think, I don't know, well, some of them are anyway. So he goes for the obvious switch into Heracross, and I bulk up, and yeah, get the boost. And I go for a Thunder Punch, which KOs with a crit. And to be honest, I think that crit did matter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that crit mattered. I've not done the damage calcs, but Heracross should probably be able to take a hit from Machamp. Uh, at least I think it should. Even a plus one Machamp probably if it was an OHKO OH it with a non stab move with about 70 BP. So yeah, he switched in the celery. I just want to get some confused hacks on it with Dynamic Punch. And I think, yeah, that's probably going to be my most effective move. And, yeah. Yeah, lots of Sandstorm and stuff. Yeah. Sandstorm battles are a bit long because of the Sandstorm. It takes ages. Yeah. So I'll go for another Dynamic Punch. And he, he forgot that I'd actually got all that speed on me. And he was wondering why I'd outsped. But then he goes for a Thunder Wave, which, to be honest, was probably the move that changed the whole game because well now Machamp can't sweep everything with its super speed honestly I think it's probably got max speed on this thing yeah well not totally max so anyway he gets more confused max and I take him down with another dynamic punch and then he switches back in his Tyranitar and I'm like well, what? what are you doing? So he subs up, and I, I, I just thought, oh damn, I should have seen that coming because it had focus punch. Yeah. But obviously I didn't, so he goes for another sub after I break this one, and yeah, I go for bullet punch because I know I can't outspeed anymore, which fails, because I would have been able to take it out straight away with one dynamic punch, which would have been very good, but. No, he just has to take the damage like an idiot beast and sub up like something that subs up. And he's got a focus punch coming. Uh, won't be the A amazing thing we're going. Oh no, oh no. Oh wait, I just did. Oh well, anyway, he's just a focus punch! And that obviously takes down Machamp. Bit of a relief, really, because now I can switch. I didn't want to switch because I didn't want to lose the speed boost. So anyway, it's between Dumbo and Dark Pulse doesn't do that much actually. I thought it would do a hell of a lot more than it did. So I can take down his Tyranitar with Earthquake now. Woo yeah, that's good. Super effective damage is always good. And yeah, lots of sand. I didn't know elephants like sand. This one does. So anyway, which is in this Metagross, and I'm like, oh, he's just going to meet your match or something. But no, he goes for Grass now, and I was like, what? Nobody uses special Metagross. Well, Penguin X does. And I was wondering if this was actually a Sandstorm team, but no, I don't think it was, to be honest. He just has a T tar because that is what is used by everyone. So in comes the OM Clefable, Mr. Doyle, who protects and gets the Toxic, but I s just predict that he's going to switch into a fighting type, and I just switch in Gratchim because I know this thing can take everything. To be honest, I should probably change this to Tape Hope. This is to Pope! It's got to Pope's hat on! Yeah, why didn't I change it? I should have changed it. Or maybe change it to Badger because it does look a bit like a Badger. Yeah, I'll try not to use so many foreign memes now. So, anyways, it's in this last house and I'm just rest up. But he goes for a trick, which means now I am locked into rest, which fails. Seriously. I'm not even gonna wake up rages. Actually, I don't think I wake up at all. <laughs> yeah, spoilers right there, as usual. Uh, so I just switch out to take whatever comes, but he switches back out to his Infernape, which means I am officially doomed. So I just protect 
because he's obviously going to go for close combat. Obvious move, and I knew it was coming. I'm going to switch back out to Gratchimp and hope that I will get a surf when I use Sleep Talk. I really hoped for a surf, but guess what, guys? I didn't get one. Yeah, I've always been unlucky with Sleep Talk. Which is why I hardly ever use it, but well, I made an exception in this case because Suicune is pretty damn good. It is pretty good. And yeah, I get a Calm Mind here, which basically failed. And I get taken down by Sandstorm, which fails even more. And I know now that I am completely, utterly, and totally doomed because I have nothing that can take this thing down. Or at least nothing they can outspeed. Well, uh, yeah, Mutant Emu just goes down to the close combat. And that, there we go. That is my big flaw. Not enough fighting type resistance. And the fact that I, the whole thing about this team was to get a baton pass to Octillery, which never happened. And, well. Uh. Oh, uh, oh wait. Yeah, oh. Yeah, I know, I know why I didn't. BP or the speed to artillery because it would have been taken down by that focus punch, or at least I think it would probably because it's not got much defenses. So, anyway, now in comes Dr. Decanifus! And look how much damage it takes from a choice band struggle. A lot. Considering that struggle has, I don't know, 10 BP, something like that. So yeah, close combat would have totally taken it down. And well, whatever happened, it would have eventually just. Destroyed everything. So yeah, he comes in with the Metagross, uses Grass Knot, and that is good game. Penguin X, go sub to him if you have.